family welcome back to my channel i'm kanisha if you're new this channel is called lux living for less and on this channel we try to find tips and tricks on how to still live a fabulous lifestyle on a four less budget today is saturday it is 7 44 a.m i'm up early y'all know i'm an early riser that should be no surprise but i'm up early because i wanted to try to go to um the salvation army thrift store today they open at eight and every Saturday, and I believe every Wednesday, the store is 50% off. Of course, I'm not able to go on Wednesdays because I work, but I'm off today and I wanted to try to, you know, go. On top of that, um, I also wanted to try to get there when they open because I have a hair appointment at 11. And when I have a hair appointment, sometimes I try to like to go thrifting if I'm gonna go thrifting prior to because most of the stuff the good stuff is put out at the beginning of the day then my sorority sisters text uh in the group chat late last night and said they wanted to go do brunch child so i'm gonna try to squeeze in brunch in there with them somewhere it's always a good time when we get together so those are the immediate plans on my agenda today i do have some other little errands that i need to do but those are the ones that are going to be done at the top of the morning. If y'all, that is a classic song right there. My aunt used to jam to that whole entire album all the time. I think it's either Atlantic Star or Midnight Star or one of them stars, child, but she used to blast that album backwards, forwards, forwards, and back all the time. And when I was a kid, I used to hate it. But now, as an adult, I love it. Y'all need to go listen to the Monica and Usher, um, the Monica and Usher version of that song. Love it, top tier. I don't know why that wasn't a radio um, edit, but it's on Usher's album, I believe. Go listen to it. Oh, my GPS thinks it knows me. I got in the car this morning plugged in my um, phone. I have an iPhone and um, <laughs> the Apple Play overrides my regular navigation. Y'all know I'm sure y'all have Apple Play in y'all car as well. And look what the, the predictive um, destination is. I'm a little bit offended that you think that I'm going to right to this thrift store. But you kind of right though. You kind of right. <laughs> of looking at stuff before I leave the house. I don't sit up here and told y'all I was going to uh, Salvation Army because I wanted to be there when they open. Child, they don't open until 10. It's 8.09. I'm notorious for doing this. I will go make a plan to go somewhere and not even stop to check to see what time the people open or even if they're open. So I stopped to get a donut at Good Dough. I got the... Um, cinnamon roll filled and then I got a car um then I got a caramel latte and um since the Salvation Army doesn't open until 10 I'm just gonna go to the thrift store the store that I always go to they open at nine and then I'll stand there for like an hour hour and a half my hair appointment is at 11 so um that'll give me enough time to do what I have to do I do y'all Y'all, one thing I did identify that I need, I need, y'all know I live in Florida. Um, so we are in like a transitional period right now as far as the seasons are concerned. Um, our falls are really a mixture of spring and late summer, meaning that you know how in the springtime it's like chilly in the morning, but then in the afternoon it's warm. And then in the evening it's kind of chilly again. That's where we are. I don't have any thin sweaters to put on that I can wear for this transitional type season. So as you can see right here, I'm wearing this top, which coincidentally is thrifted. This is by Free People. And um, I'm gonna, when I'm in the thrift store today, I'm just gonna look for some thin sweaters to, you know, just something that I can wear in the meantime, in between time. But that's it, y'all. So I'm gonna eat my donut, drink my latte, and we are gonna go ahead and get the next part of the day started. Y'all look at the parking lot. They open at nine, it's 8.21. I told y'all, I, I just be doing stuff and don't even be paying attention, you know? So, um, 
if I had looked to make sure what time the Salvation Army opened, I probably would just now be leaving my house. But we here and we gonna chill out. So it is what it is. Yeah, when I was telling y'all about the Hermes cars, this is what they kind of look like sometimes. They don't always be obviously labeled with Hermes. This isn't one, but this is a close resemblance to what they look like. So if you see these, just check them out. <laughs> This is a pretty scarf. Look at the texture on it. It's really pretty. And it is. $9.99. White is half off. All right, y'all, I'm headed to the two-piece section now. One of my favorite places to look. It's also one of the most crowded places to look, so let's see what we can find. So whoever got them had them tailored, so it would be too small for me. So I didn't get it. That's it for the suits, y'all. Didn't see anything. Still holding on to this scarf. And then this one. over it's a jumpsuit and I didn't like it because of this right here I felt like it would be ill-fitting but nine dollars in the thrift store I try not to buy fast fashion brands in the thrift store because of the obvious so but I'm in the sweater aisle looking for sweaters are. I don't see anything, but we are at the beginning of the line, this line as well, so let's keep looking. I 
this would be a good transitional piece. It's $7.99. Size medium. I'm just standing because y'all know I have to <laughs> hurry up and leave and go to the hair salon. I got about a good 30 more minutes in here and then I need to be in line getting ready to go. Ooh, this is pretty. Where are you? Do something to make me smile and it's hard for me to try to die this feeling. Yeah, we could just walk away. section y'all know I can never come without looking in the blazer section this is also another popular section in the thrift store so it's always crowded
It's the Yonce, yo, Yonce in their lingerie on a shot and it's going touchdowns on your runway. I'm Texas forever like Bobby and I'm Rambo and yo. I'm building a rip like John Jack, I'm Camo and yo. These thoughts can't talk me nowadays. You wish I was no pound pick. Boy, you know I look good at four. Wish I was no baby mom. Want me to go around and give you good karma, but no. We escalate up in this bitch like elevators. Of course, I'm oh, that's fine. Perfect for a holiday party or something. Look at that, that's cute. Well, let's do it once over at the front section as quickly as we possibly can. Now look at this bag. It's by Arcadia. Only $9.99. Definitely getting it. Oh, very pretty. Oh, yeah. This is a cute little cocktail bag. You pay for ten. $4.99. All right, y'all. So my trip is done for the most part. Um, I'm headed to check out now because I have to leave and go get this head done. Y'all see what a mess it looks. So let's check out and go. It is 10:17, so we're out in time. All right, y'all. We are done with our thrift trip. Got our goods. Spent $74, but we got some really quality pieces. I'll do a thrift haul later. We are headed to the hair salon because y'all, this hair is a mess. It's dirty, it needs to be washed, and I can stand a trim and all of the above. But um, my sorority sisters have decided on where they want to eat. So I told them that once I was done getting my hair done, then I would meet them to the brunch spot. Let's go ahead and get to this hair salon. It's 10.33, I have to be there at 11. So I have 27 minutes to get there and it's 25 minutes away. So let's go. Mighty Morning Show and bringing you one joyous night. That is with Pastor Mike Jr. Mm -hmm. Tell I'm growing my hair out just the top and I'm just gonna keep the sides low and the back low I'm just gonna go for like a fuller look so I'm growing my hair out right now which is why it looks like I didn't get a haircut because I didn't I'm heading out to meet my sorority sisters they don't know where they want to eat at y'all why, why are women like this <laughs> we know we want to eat but we just go through all kind of motions when it comes to picking what we want to eat I'm the same way so I'm looking at the group text now as it's coming through, but I'm sure by the time I get on the main stretch of road, they'll have been decided. And um, I'll see y'all when I get there, wherever that may be. Baby, you my everything. You all I ever wanted. We could do it real big. Bigger than you ever done it. You be up on everything. I'm here at our meeting spot for lunch. We are having lunch at this place called Indulgence. Um, I've been here before. I came here a time before with one of my other sorority sisters but we had brunch so we had like breakfast it was 10 o'clock in the morning so i'm here i'm gonna meet them so let's go look to less family i'm done with lunch y'all i love getting together with my sorority sisters. They are always a good kiki. Um, we are already planning the next outing. We are going to a Moroccan spa that one of my sorority sisters says that she, um, the a spa that my sorority, one of my sorority sister frequents and she just absolutely love it. So that's gonna be our next outing. But um, 
I didn't like the food, but I enjoyed the company. But now I'm headed to get my nails done, and then I'll probably be there at least until 6, 6.30, and then I'll probably be headed home. Good morning, Lux for Less family. Today is Sunday, November 19th, I think. Yes, November 19th. It's 9.43 a.m. I'm headed out to uh, run some errands. Just a few errands that I didn't get to do yesterday that I kind of want to get done, you know, before the weekend is out. I'm wearing my sunnies, um, my $12 sunnies that I got from Target, the ones that the Soft Nurse brand influenced me to purchase. Um, I really do love these. These look these look very expensive, but they were definitely not at the low, low price of $12. So anyway, it's a pretty day today, y'all. Let's go ahead and get this day started. All right, Lex Less family, we made a stop at Goodwill. Y'all remember yesterday I was telling y'all that I wanted to, um, or I needed to rather find some like thin sweaters. You can see I'm wearing like a, you know, like a thin long sleeve sweater today because you all know I live in Florida. So our falls here are really not fall consistent. We are more of a like spring timey-ish when it comes to the temperatures like today is supposed to be almost 80 degrees as a matter of fact right before i turned the camera on i saw a lady walking past me with shorts on when i left the house this morning it was cool that's why i have on this long sleeve shirt anyway i need some like just thin little sweaters i told y'all yesterday what i need and why i need them so um i'm on the side of town that i'm on to run my errands i was actually passing by this goodwill so i was like let me stop in and see what they have, so let's go. Not to blush when somebody says your name. In my stomach, there's a pain. You walk in my direction, I go the other up way. I start to stutter when I speak. You understand what my knees go weak. What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow, staring out the window. From a star for a sign.
that only she sat in. Wow. I spent $68, um, got a lot of fall winter stuff, but um, the biggest score that I got was a Pierre Cardin wool coat, and it is on sale right now for $751 on Farfetch. I paid $12.99 for it. I'm gonna stick it in the cleaners, and of course, I am probably definitely going to be reselling it. I'm heading now to Trader Joe's to get me some fresh flowers. Then I'm going to Home Depot, Bath and Body Works, and then I'm gonna head home. So let's go. Depot, y'all. My husband wanted me to look while I was in here looking at some other stuff. Um, he wanted me to price a tree. Y'all, we have three queen palms in the back of our yard that anchor our pool, two on either side and one in the middle. And for some reason, the one in the middle keeps dying. So this will be our third tree. Y'all, these dogs over here, let me show you. Look at those dogs right there. So somebody parked their truck and left the dogs in the car. Y'all, no way in hell would I be sitting over there parked next to that goddamn car with them dogs. Nope. Look. Look at them. Uh-uh. No, no, Fido. No way. Nope. Anyway, y'all. Um, the three We have three queen palms in our backyard is what I was saying. And one, the one in the middle, for some reason, keeps dying. And this will be our third time replacing it. So my husband said he was going to replace it one more time. And then that was just going to be it. It has to be something either about that spot. I don't know what it is. He has used topsoil. He has turned the soil. He has fertilized it. He has put um, palm food. He's done everything that he knows to do to keep that tree in that spot from dying. And two trees have now died. And this will be the third. So anyway i'm headed in home depot to look at the tree and then at home is literally right across the parking lot so let's go all right y'all these are the type of trees we have so let's see Christmas mats for $9.99. I think I'm gonna get one. Do I want the gingham print? I think I do. Or they have some others. This one is nice. Look at this one. 
I don't want a truck though. I think I'm gonna just get this one right here, the gingham print one. I don't know well when it's cute too. And you could totally make this for ten dollars or less. Don't spend thirty dollars. Make it yourself. But y'all know I've been talking about I need a new pillow. Love this one. Only $24.99. But why didn't we have one? Every time I find a pillow I like, they never have more than one. So, can't get it. This is so cute. Looks like a um, cute tip dispenser. So cute. I like it, but I'm not getting it. This is what I need right here, y'all, for bigger. Like this. Yeah. This would be perfect for what I need. But this is twelve dollars. Let's see if they have one. A little bit less expensive, but we're gonna hold on to this one. Alright, y'all, this is what I'm looking for, but All right, y'all. I'm going to beat the mat. I'm not going to get anything because I don't want to stand in that long line for this one mat. So we're going to leave empty handed. All right, y'all. I'm going to go home. I'm done with my errands for the day. It's 1.37. I was trying to get back home by 12, 12.30. Not too bad. I want to show y'all these. Um, show y'all this right here. I ordered this little nail gel removal kit from Amazon. And essentially is what it is, is these little nail clips that go on top of your nails. You know, kind of like the little thing that, um, like if you go to the hospital and they want to keep track of your pulse, you know, like this right here. I ordered that gel removal kit because y'all know when you get gel polish removed in the nail salon, they drill down your nail to try to start the process of removing the gel. And that basically strips like the top enamel or coat or whatever you want to call it from your nail, which is why your nails are always so thin. It's not the gel polish that makes it thin. It's the removal process of the gel polish that makes it thin. And then, you know, when they put the foil on it and wrap it in the um, cotton, it never stays in place, blah, blah, blah. So I ordered these off Amazon. I think this little kit was $7.99. And basically, it comes with a whole little kit. Like these are the little cotton swabs you put on it. And then these are the clips that you put on your nails. So yesterday, I took it to the nail salon. And when I tell you it worked 100% better, like it worked 100% better. And the, um, <laughs> the guy that was doing my nails, he was even like, oh, I like these. So... Um, I'll link these down below if you wear nail gel nail polish on your natural nails. I, I guess it doesn't really matter if you have an acrylic overlay because you have the overlay that's on top of your nails. But if you wear gel polish on your regular regular nails like me, which by the way, I cut my nails down if they look a little shorter. Um, if you wear regular gel polish on your regular nails and you always cringe when they have to go to take it off, this is a this right here will help you 100%. All right, Lux for Less family, I want to do a thrift haul with you of the things that I picked up over the weekend. But before I do that, I want to show you that this purse that I have. I thrifted this purse maybe three years ago at this point. And when I thrifted it, 
I saw that Gucci had um, a purse just like it. Now, I, did, I didn't thrift it because it was a um, resemblance of the Gucci purse, but now that purse that Gucci had, you know, those years ago is making its way back around into the trendy fashion scene. So let me show it to you. This is a purse that I thrifted, like I said, about three years ago. It's 100% leather and it is by a brand called Rita, Rita, Rena Rich. And this style of purse may look very familiar to you because Gucci has one that is very popular right now. And I think I might've paid $3 for this purse. I tell y'all all the time, fashion is very cyclical. Some things I keep and never throw away. I have almost donated this purse probably five times at this point. And I kept it because I just absolutely loved it. It's very unique, but um, yeah, this is a thrifted purse. This is a very similar style to what Gucci has now. Just wanted to show you this before I got into the thrift haul. All right, so these are all of the things that I purchased. Let me go ahead and get started. First item I purchased is this shirt by a brand called Mellow Day. This is from Goodwill. And if let me see if I can give you a, how it's supposed to look. You button it up and then it ties right here in the middle and then it hangs low in the back. So I can't remember, Goodwill has recently changed their prices, but I think this shirt might've been five or $6. I do know that the color of the, of the day yesterday was red. Um, this has a blue tag, as you can see. So this shirt was probably $5 from Goodwill. Also y'all from Goodwill, I bought this skirt this is by the brand Spanx. You can see it's never been worn. Retail price was $148. I got it for $6 from Goodwill, but it's this faux leather pencil skirt. It has a cute little split right here. But got this Spanx skirt, new with tags. Retail, $148 from Goodwill. Also from Goodwill is this wrap also with the blue tag this is by a brand this is by the brand venus it has like a houndstooth print right here on the ends of the sleeves and then the rest of it is in like this plaid checker print but um it's also trimmed in red with the same similar houndstooth trim at the bottom but this is just a cute little wrap y'all know i live in florida so these are very appropriate in like the early winter days um some late winter days as well but this i think also was six dollars but got it from goodwill all right next item that i purchased was also from goodwill these next few items are all from goodwill um this is a 100 percent cashmere pink sweater y'all know i was looking for thin sweaters and this is a three-quarter length sweater it's by talbots and like i said it is cashmere This also, I think, was about $6. Has a blue tag. I don't think anything I purchased had a red tag, by the way. But got this pink little cashmere top from Talbot's from Goodwill. Next item is this Ralph Lauren uh, sweater. Blue tag also. Just a, you know, basic cream sweater that I can wear throughout the winter months. I tend to like Ralph Lauren sweaters. They are very good quality and they hold up very well through washes and dry cleaning. So um, if I see these in the thrift store, Goodwill, whatever, in my size, I do pick this up, but got this also for $6. Next are these jeans by Nine West. These still have the tags on them. Whoever purchased them, purchased them from Steinmark for $7.95. They were originally $35. Goodwill had them priced for the same $7. So. These are just um, wide leg jeans. They're not very long, like long enough where I can wear a heel. So I may just have the um, hem taken out, but has a button front, has an elastic back, which that part I'm not really too excited about, but it's okay. 
but like I said, they are, um, you know, wide leg jeans that I got for $7 from Goodwill. All right, and last but not least from Goodwill, I got this 100% wool Pierre Cardin coat, blue tag, $12.99. This is currently on sale for $751 on Farfetch. I'm gonna be reselling this, but got this from Goodwill. All right, these next few items all came from the thrift store. First item is this beautiful cardigan. It is by a brand called Ra Ra Avis by Aris FPL or whatever, child, I don't know. Blue was half off. So I paid $30 for it and whoever bought it never wore it. The original tagging is still attached. So beautiful, beautiful sweater. Quality is amazing, but um, yeah, I got this from the thrift store. Next item from the thrift store is this coat that I picked up by Rachel Roy. Yellow was not on sale. This was $19.99. So I paid full price for her. This coat is giving me Gucci vibes. Look at it. It has that blue and red stripe going through the back. It has the fold over lapel in the back. And then it has these cool little ties on the side. And I don't know if this is a raincoat or a trench coat, but she is a beautiful coat. I'm probably gonna be reselling her, but got her for $20 from the thrift store. Next thing I'm gonna share with y'all is this purse. This is a purse by the brand. This is a purse by the brand Arcadia. This is an Italian brand handbag. Now, brand new, these are pretty pricey. And I'll post up some um, similar items from this line, but this was only $9.99 in the thrift store. And I love the silhouette of it. It's very reminiscent of a purse by Louis Vuitton. And I can't recall the name of it yet, but I'll pop up a picture of the purse um, so that you can see the reference I'm talking about. This purse also has gold feet. And the unique thing is it has five feet. You know, most purses only have four. But this is an Italian 100% leather purse. I love it. It's patent leather again by the brand Arcadia. I got it for $9.99 in thrift store. All right, next thing I got is just this thin sweater and it is by a brand called Marled or Marled. It was priced at $7.99, so I got it for $3. Everything was half off except yellow and then red and green were 75% off. So, but it just says summer, which, you know, is a nice little play on the sweater because sweaters are for cooler months, but this says summer and I loved it. Um, but got her for $3 from the thrift store. Next thing I got is this, another little thin sweater. This is by J. Crew. It was marked $9.99, so I got it for $5. It's just this nice little um, V-neck thin sweater be perfect for the climate that I'm in, but got her for $5 from the thrift store. But that is gonna wrap up my thrift haul and it's also gonna wrap up this week's vlog. Drop down in the comments and let me know which piece from this thrift haul was your favorite. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.